Hey everybody, welcome back to Eternal Harvest Farm. We've got some, just a little projects going on. We did this flower bed, which I think is just going to look awesome when we're sitting out front for worship nights. Um, we're working on trying to fortify the chicken coop a bit. We've had some losses in there, unfortunately. And just kind of tidying up. We extended the gravel from the driveway over to the new greenhouse we're building. And just doing some little projects around the house. I wanted to show you something else we do every year. It's kind of part of our planning. We just have a satellite image of the fields and... We like to try to map out where we're going to plant everything and then update it with where we actually did plant things. And we like to kind of look at this to figure out, you know, like what followed what the next year and did it do well? You know, for instance, if onions followed potatoes and the onions did really well, well, hey, let, this year we're trying to do that. Let's put the onions where the potatoes were. And we started to map out this year, but we have gotten so much rain. And unfortunately, the main field where we plant most of the stuff has been sitting underwater for weeks and is just now beginning to dry out. This year, God has really thrown a wrench into our plans. I'm sure everybody can relate to that one. But what's that old saying, right? Man makes plans and God just laughs. So this year, it's been a, it's been a pretty good reminder, right, that God is in control, right? And we make plans and that's great, but ultimately... We need to be listening to God. So we've got to make some pivots and try to stay faithful to God. And we felt him really leading us into things that we tried before, but not really with much effort. So this year, we're just going to continue doing what we've always done, right? Growing food, serving people, loving God, sharing Jesus. But this year, we're going to try to be a little more intentional about growing fruit. So up behind the house on the hill, it's been draining out much better. We opened some new areas, plowed some new areas, and we've got some little extra room. Sometimes we get stuck in our ways. We try to do better at the thing we've been doing, and we forget to continue to listen to God. And this year, we've just been feeling like it's time to try something new and put the effort into it that we haven't done before. Okay, how many do we need now? So that's a little bit about kind of what we got going on in the spring now. Little projects here and there, tidying some things up, getting ready for hopefully to try to start expanding things as we go constantly each year. But we're also trying a few uh, fruit plants here. We've never really had much success before, but we've also never really um, put a whole lot of like effort into it. We just kind of put some stuff here and there. So we'll see how it goes. We're going to put some effort into this. We're going to put the Premier One netting. <laughs> And maybe yeah, mosquito. the bugs will get out of my face. What was I saying? Oh yeah. The Premier One netting. We're gonna put like Premier Premier One Premier One netting around this with the electric uh, solar charger. Yeah, that thing. And to hopefully help keep the deer away. Why don't you talk? You're better. I'm not better at talking. Yeah, because the deer always find a way into the gardens no matter what we do. So. Hopefully the electric netting will help keep them away. Last year we planted a few strawberry bushes and they just got eaten up. So yeah, nothing too big, nothing too extravagant because fruits tend to cost more money to plant and I'm tired of them getting wiped out. So we're easing into it, but hopefully we'll figure this out. This is hopefully a learning year. So we'll definitely post some more follow-up videos about our blackberries, raspberries, and strawberries. But anywho, if you want to see how this progresses or see us fall on our faces, uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, the subscribe, a bell. People say a bell, there's probably a bell somewhere. Uh, and then yeah, we'll put out some more videos with some updates of this and we're gonna hopefully get doing more videos again this year The last few years we haven't so stay tuned check out that and come along and see how well these uh, berries and well all berries see how well these blackberries strawberries and raspberries do